All right. How's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I think I'm going to call this podcast is Quit Talking Shit About Others. And, you know, I'm, I, I, I think I speak for a lot of people out there. I think we're just, or I'm sick of people talking behind other people's backs. And, you know, for the last, I don't know how long it's been, I, for the most part, don't even want to hear it. And, you know, sometimes I'll even catch myself, like, real quickly saying some something about someone, and then I got to hold myself back and say, what the, what are you doing? Uh, and I'm not saying that, you know, we don't talk about other people, but I definitely have put myself in a position where I don't want anybody to bring too much negativity about others to me. I don't allow it. That could go for an email, a text, even a phone conversation or personally. I'm not saying that I'm going to dismiss, you know, my parents or my siblings or family members or whatever. If they start, you know, they got a grudge or a beef with somebody, of course, I'm going to have to sit and listen to it, especially if I'm in a room with them. But I realized over time, the more people understood that I don't want to hear it, <clears throat> made a big difference in my life. And they also know that I'm not one to do that. And I think what I built, hopefully, a trust amongst a lot of people is they know I'm not going to talk shit about them. And if I do have a beef with them, I'm going to have it with them and them only. I'm definitely not going to make it public, too. If you get in a beef with me, I don't care if I dated you in the past or for relationship, friendships, whatever the case may be, I will never be somebody who attacks people online as far as outing them or talking shit about them. Now, usually if someone tries to attack me online, I take the high road. Uh, I don't get caught up with that. But I will tell you this. If somebody does aggravate me online, uh, I usually confront them very quickly, either personally or on a phone call or something. I don't play the... You attack me, I attack you, bullshit, and make all this stuff public. It's just not my thing. It's too, it aggravates me. And I think, too, it embarrasses not only the other person, but yourself. Now, again, like I said, if somebody, and believe me, on YouTube and things, I sometimes get attacked. And if it's really crazy and I don't think like people should see it, that's one thing I'll have to delete it. I don't get in wars, but sometimes I get in funny stuff. And then at the end, I'm like, I'm just kidding. It's just a joke. It's not like I'm a, they're attacking me and I'm kind of attacking them kind of funny. Uh, it's not to be taken seriously. But if you are kind of somebody who's out there talking shit, you know, about a lot of people, I would say most likely a lot of people are talking shit about you. Because what happens that I've seen over the years is you're somebody who's just always talking shit wherever you're, you know, a lot of times, not always, but if you, whoever you're with, could be your friends, family, whoever, they know you're a shit talker. You know you bring a lot of drama, a lot of aggravation. So they know they're not stupid. You may not know that they know, but everybody kind of knows for the most part. And you can do whatever the hell you want. But if you find yourself, maybe, and I see this with a lot of people who are alone, may not have a lot of friends, or constantly arguing with people or fighting with them, again, it's it maybe not just them. I talk about it. It's probably you. If you're always having a problem with people, a lot of times it's not them. I mean, you have to realize that. Now I'm not. And if it is, let's put it this way: that maybe if it isn't you, then you're hanging out with the wrong type of people. So again, that falls on you. You can't hang around too a lot of people that are miserable talking shit um, all the time behind your back, you're talking to behind theirs, and you know what I'm saying, you're all commiserating all the time. A lot of people like those friendships, or they'd like to be around those people. They like the negativity. And that's cool. Do whatever you want. I just don't have time for it. The more I eliminated all the shit in my life, especially relationship-wise, my life changed. My mindset changed. Does that mean I never get mad? No, of course I still get mad at people's behavior, and I'm sure they may get mad at mine. I get it, but it's not as daunting or dragged out because, you know, it's not like every conversation I have in, you know, these type of people where, you know, every time you're going to talk to them, there's a problem. They're going to talk shit about something in their life that happened, 
or someone in their life that did something to them, there's just always a problem. You know, I was thinking about this yesterday with my dog. When I went to I take him to Starbucks and I went and actually had Chipotle and I was sitting there with the puppy. And I was um, just thinking about, you know, like years ago because I don't really text anybody anymore too often. And I talk to my parents. I try to as much as I can every day practically. I got my kids and my relationship and stuff like that. And we have a family group text that we all have that I love very much. I mean, I like all these things. But when you eliminate a lot of drama out of your life, uh, it's game. It's a game changer. And then when people do hit me up now, which I love, it's regarding me if if I can help them with something. Someone just hit me up with a nutritional question, which I try to answer it the best I could. And then I said, go here and find it. Uh, I just got hit with that right before I started doing my podcast on Facebook. Again, nothing negative. I'm not getting texts. Uh, uh, you know, even if it's a string text with my buddies, we crack on each other. It's all fun and loving. It's nothing bad usually. And even if we do, you know, if we have something going on within my friendships or there's an issue, we don't sit here and badger each other. We go help one another. It's a big difference. And if you're somebody, again, looking on your phone and most of the messages coming through or it could be emails or phone calls, it's all, it's all just, it's just negative. And it just beats you down after a while. You don't have to tolerate it. It, you know, again, maybe with your parents or with certain people, you got to tolerate. I get it. You can't escape your family a lot of times. And we're going to have to maybe, you know, they got to listen to our stuff and we got to listen to theirs. But I'm talking a lot of other things. And it could be at work again. It could be whatever you're doing in life. You don't have to put up with people's bullshit. And, you know, that's just something that I wanted to just do a podcast on because it was just, uh, I think about this all the time. And, what I was thinking about with the dog too is all the things not being said are what's incredible. I think a lot of people think they always have to express something, good or bad, to make their mark. And that's kind of like with work. You've probably worked with different type, types of people where you worked with them and no matter what you did with them, there's always a problem. In every conversation you have with them, oh, there's a problem. Everything that they do in or out of work, there's always, and that's kind of how they, they want to almost be like a people solver problem. Maybe to, like they start a problem, then they want to show that they can solve the problem. There's a problem here, or they're always emailing, or they're always texting, or there's always complications. You know, it's exhausting. And I think that's what happens with a lot of our friendships as well. But back to if you're with somebody, it's just like sometimes if you're in a car just enjoying the silence or the moment of say you're listening to a song, and sometimes I do this. I talk over a song or I talk over a movie. I'm like, just shut the hell up. You know, I'm throwing my two cents in there. It's not really doing much. But when it comes to like your relationships or, or friendships, you not bringing a lot of drama is probably people, you may not realize this, but they like that about you. They like that when they're with you, you're just maybe a listener. Uh, you know, you're listening at times. Or you're only really, usually when they, when they see you, you're always somebody who's kind of uplifting, uplifting, not dragging them down. Uh, or just, just quiet in general and at ease and not being, again, overly dramatic or just always talking shit or just bringing all this negativity to them. So it was just something I wanted to do a podcast on. And listen, I think we all, again, I will say, I think no matter who you are, you'll talk shit in your life, throughout your life, smack about other people. I, I think it's impossible almost not to, especially you may get caught up in a certain situation where you felt somebody betrayed you or somebody's doing something to a family member, friend, or at work or whatever, and you're, you're aggravated at that moment. Listen, nobody's perfect. I'm not saying that. I'm definitely far from it. But there's a lot of times if you stop, and I do this 24, 48 hour thing where I do get aggravated at somebody and I'm like, just chill out. First of all, you may not even know that's factual. You just heard it from someone else. Or, you know, just give it some time to breathe. And when I do give it that 24 or 48 hours, for one is, I'm usually not that mad about it anymore. And a lot of times when I do, I can figure things out. Did it really happen the way someone told me or is that what really happened? A lot of times it's a lot different and it wasn't even worth getting that upset about or getting in this conversation or a text or all this so just really weigh out your battles a lot of times the battles are not worth it what do you get at the end
really by talking shit, if you think about it, about people. What are you really, is that helping you prosper? Is that helping, you know, motivate you? Is it helping others? What does that do? It does nothing. And I don't know why people like that. It just drives me bonkers sometimes. So anyways, I'm going to wrap it up there. You get a chance, uh, check out my website, richchalinza.com. You can find out all my stuff from there, uh, including my YouTube page. And uh, I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm always saying that. I feel like, where else am I? I'm on some other social media platforms, but I guess those are the main ones. But uh, yeah, hit me up with any questions, comments, whatever. But uh, go enjoy your life, man. If you just go enjoy it and stop getting caught up with everybody else's bullshit. I'm telling you right now, the further you get away from the nonsense, you're, you, having a clear mind and being around friends or family members or, that are just calm and not nuts or not always arguing or fighting and screaming, you're going to just be shocked at how different you even start thinking. I promise you. All right, take care and I wish you nothing but the best.